I hate mirrors. I don't like what I see. I see me. Making this video is absolutely terrifying. It's terrifying because it's all true. This video and some future videos I'm making, they speak more to some of the most difficult times in my life. When I'm struggling the most with some of my own personal battles with mental health. But some of it is stuff I still struggle with to some degree even today. If you haven't watched my other video, Mirror Mask, I suggest you go do that first before finishing this video. The fear is that I got the idea of making videos that um, visualize what it's like battling uh, mental health disorders. You know, there's a lot less stigma now about um, you know, mentioning that you have a disorder, but it's still kind of terrifying to let people inside your mind and uh, be honest about what it's really like day to day. You know, saying I have anxiety and depression is pretty easy now, but to actually talk about the darkness of that experience, it's it's pretty difficult a lot of times. You know, it's great that it's becoming more accepted now to say those things. You don't have to worry about uh, so much how people are going to look at you or going to think, oh, he's weak or um, something's wrong with that guy. Um, I don't necessarily feel that anymore because I'm starting to realize how many people do deal with depression, whether it be chronically or just a, a single point of their life. It just feels okay now to say these things. It was a big fear, especially when I was younger, that I told people what I was thinking, what I was feeling, that either one, they would say I should be hospitalized, which maybe I should have back in the day, honestly. Two, that it would just ruin my life, that I, you know, I have a lot of big dreams of what I wanted to do. I used to be a pediatric heart surgeon, and lo and behold, my anxiety never let me get through med school, but I was so afraid that if people knew, oh my gosh, that guy has depression, we can't let him go to school, we can't let him go to med school, we can't let him get a degree in helping people. So I was, I was afraid to let people know what was going on. You know, fast forward to today, I got my master's in mental health counseling, but even during school, I had those thoughts of, if people knew what I felt and what I thought, would they want me to be their counselor? Would I be able to get hired? Would people accept me to do this job of helping people if they knew that I still have my own struggles? One of the reasons I want to make these videos is for myself. Like, do I want to be a counselor if I have to keep all of this to myself all the time? Do I want to be a counselor if I can't be open about also struggling? Do I want to be a counselor if I can't be me? So this topic in this video is one of the first things I really, really wanted to focus on. Making masks to fit into society uh, was one of the first things I really wanted to touch on. It's kind of a way for me to unmask myself right from the get-go. I'm in a few private Facebook groups where we share our experiences, ask sometimes for tips, and just sometimes just vent on what it's like. We regularly talk about social masks and um, how exhausting it can be, but why we feel we really need them in order to get through our day and get through a day of work and get through sometimes days with our friends and family um, just to be social, just to put ourselves out there. What we need to just be a member of society, really. I just came to realize how many of us are fighting these invisible wars and keeping it to ourselves. You know, anytime I see a report of suicide and all the conversations are, wow, we never saw it coming. You know, we he was such a happy person. He had such a big heart and loved on so many people. And it breaks my heart because I know that's what people would say about me if I ever got to that point where I died by suicide. <sighs> I'm in a good place now, and that's not like an option for me, but I know the reason people never see it coming is because I put so much time into developing these masks to make sure no one saw how much I was struggling. And I didn't want people to see just how much I was hurting and in pain and how much darkness there was. And I felt like the only way to combat that darkness was to just put light out there and protect people from it. And I showed this video to a couple people, like my family and close friends. Um, and a couple people asked me why there's no uh, why there's no resolution at the end. Why there why there's no like hope given at the end. But I think that would have taken away from what this video is and what it's meant to be. You know, for some of us, this is a daily battle and I really wanted to show people what that's like. I wanted to show what it is like to live like this and how dark it actually can be. Um, and I felt trying to put a lighter message on that video would have taken away from that experience that you have watching it. But I have to say there is hope and there is light and I hope videos like this one you're watching now will help to show that. So I've written up at least five videos so far and one of the big reasons I made Mirror Mask and hoping to make these other ones is to let people see that they're not alone. I want people to just feel connected and realize that they're not going through this battle on their own and that there are other people like them experiencing this and, and just kind of everything all encompassing to show that there is light and hope for them. I wanted to show them that one, they're not alone and then two, to show that there is light and that there is hope they can have for themselves. So when we're going through it, a lot of us 
actively putting on these masks in order to try to put light in other people's lives. I think it's really important to begin to believe that you can have the light for yourself. The second reason I made these videos is I wanted to be okay to have these experiences. Like last weekend when I first finished the first draft of this video, um, I sent it to, again, my family and close friends. I sent it right before going to bed because I wanted to just go to sleep and just turn my phone off and not have to worry about the replies I was going to get. Um, so I woke up the next morning and I really wasn't sure how people would react. I was worried people would be uh, really concerned about me and my health and my safety. I would give a disclaimer to them beforehand to kind of let them know that this is talking about some of my darker times, but not necessarily where I am now, but I was still so afraid to look at my phone. I woke up with this sinking feeling because I've spent most of my life trying to hide all this part of me in my past and to just put it out there publicly. I was, I was scared. I was scared. So before like actually looking at the messages people sent me and you know, I decided to go through and browse social media just to distract myself from what I was thinking and feeling. And I came across a video of Ellen DeGeneres and her experience coming out as gay. There's an interview with Oprah and Oprah asked Ellen why she came out the way she did. And Ellen responded simply, because it's okay. And that was, that was super powerful for me. It reminded me of why I'm doing this. I mean, I've been so scared my entire life of letting people see who I actually am. You know, as much as I'd like to say that depression and anxiety and some other things aren't me, not talking about them is really hiding myself. I was scared of people seeing what goes on inside me, in my mind. And it reminded me why I really want to make these videos. Because I want to tell people that are struggling with mental health that it's okay. For all people that feel they have to hide their experience, I wanted to say it's okay to share that. I just think back to my first times looking in a mirror and hating what I saw. Just absolutely just loathing myself. And, and I want so badly for a boy or girl that looks in the mirror the first time and says, I hate what I see to know that things get better. And it's not a death sentence and it's going to be really hard. But, but things do get better. I want to say to them that you are worth loving and your life is worth living. The third reason I want to make these videos is that I know that everybody kind of puts on masks every day. There's obviously times where you need to be professional or, or you need to keep your emotions at bay, but there also needs to be a lot less dishonesty to other people, especially those close to us about what we're going through. And there's something empowering about being honest with yourself and accepting yourself and your experience that helps you to get to that next step of one, getting help and two, growing comfortable with who you are and living in the world you live in every day. I want it to be okay to go out with your friends and just say, hey, I just want to sit here today and just be in good company. And there not to be an expectation that you have to act like you're happy or you know outgoing or being super involved that I just want to be okay to just sit there. And again, there's a, there's a big feeling that you don't want to let your negative or dark feelings out on other people. So you kind of shield yourself from being with other people and going out. And some people often isolate themselves because they're so afraid to be themselves. And there's something so important about having people in your life that you can be real with, that you can say, I'm just depressed today and I don't really want to talk, but I don't really want to be alone. The final reason I want to make these videos is to let people that don't experience it like us to see what it's like and to develop that empathy and understanding for that experience. I want them to know what it's like to fight these invisible wars. I want everyone to see that you can have this dark in you and also still have a light in you and that it's not so much one always overtaking the others, that they can actually coexist and you can still be okay and you can still be a good person, you can still be successful and you can still accomplish your dreams and you can still live a fulfilling life despite having these struggles. I want to erase the stigma that having to deal with this stuff makes you any less human. So in order to better give the whole picture, I have two different YouTube channels. So this channel, I'll be releasing the videos like Mirror Mask 
and videos like this where I talk about my own personal experiences. And I'm actually just as an outlet for everything I do in my life. I teach gymnastics, dance. I'm gonna be a licensed counselor soon, coach basketball. I love making videos. I can think I can be funny sometimes. I love music, I love going to concerts, I love filming bands, I love photography, I love just cinematography, I love movies, I love so many things. I wanna show that, yeah, even though I have these experiences um, with depression and mental illness, I'm also human. And it's weird for me even to say that myself, because there's so much in my life where I said I'm not like humans, that I'm more like an alien or a robot. And I wanna show my human experience all of it. Then I have another channel called Josh the Informer, and on that one I'll talk more about things from a professional side, uh, from a counseling side, from a consultant side. You can find me in all forms of social media under the tag Josh the Informer. That's probably the best way to keep up with everything I'm doing. But even with that, I'm going to start talking about mental health, but eventually the goal is to inform you about a lot of other things, give you different perspectives, and inform you on lots of different things going on in the world today. So if you like these videos and like to see more, please kindly grace the like and subscribe buttons. And feel free to share this if it meant something to you or you know someone who might mean something to you. I'll be making more videos about the experience and also more videos about how to help uh, yourself if you're going through this or how to help someone if you know someone going through it. If you are like me and you are fighting these invisible wars, please, please talk to somebody. Go to a counselor, talk to your parents, talk to your close friends, talk to one of your siblings and put it out there. Get help. That's one of the most important, powerful things you can do is to verbalize it and admit it and be open about it. You know, things can get better. The light can outshine the darkness. If you're unsure of what next steps you should take, feel free to contact me, email me, hit me up on one of the other social medias. Even leave a comment below. I know so many people in the comments are gonna be awesome with helping you. If you have any general questions, topics you want me to cover, things you wanna see, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to talk to all of you guys to start building this community. To everyone watching this video, know that you are loved, your life is worth living, and your light is worth sharing. Join me in this terrifying journey of self-revelation. See you soon. Goodbye. Okay,